Hi guys, today we are going to show you um, the difference between the Exofix P1 and then difference between P1 and 01. Okay, so clear difference are huh? actually the most obvious difference, right? For P1 and A01, right? Is the rear derailleur system. <coughs> okay, the rear derailleur system for A01 is a three speed system. So it uses the the you know we have from 360 la Brompton la pipes la the the one it bias is plastic ma. so for it so fix we come up with the aftermarket one there's a three speed one <coughs> so this use using a push system so when actually when you are changing the gear you use as a push method so to help you engage with the highest gear. So this is a three three speed variant. Some of the shops they actually can mod it to go until five speed lah. but uh, it's up to individual. So for that's the big difference lah for zero one and P one. Oh, so the one we're showing today is the green urban edition for zero one. Then for P one right, okay. P one right, uh, we name it the P one. Okay, it's the first variant for the P line series lah. So <clears throat> why the P line? The P line um, is the same as like uh, the aftermarket uh, P line parts like we have. So we are one of the first to come up with this rear derailleur system. Then um, the P line system, right? It uses a pull method. So when you change gear, actually you are pulling the derailleur. That's the way to change. That's the that's the operation uh, of it like. So call this is the latest uh, the latest derailleur systems like. Then um, it's quite similar to what uh, Bontem, what DCCH, what uh, I think Thanks for Right we also have today. So the systems are pretty similar, the logic is the same. So for Exofix, we come up with our own one, our own R&D and our own one. And this rear derailleur system, right, it can be fitted on most trifold. Yes, uh, <coughs> that means your existing trifold, you want to convert to external gear using our derailleur system, right, it can be purchased from our retailer. So you are able to do it. The one we are talking about today is a uh, uh, sapphire red. It's the latest color. So super nice. Yes, super nice. Uh, then it comes with a 10 wall Innova wheels, mud guards, uh, back carrier. So it comes with a higher bar. And the bar is higher. Then, okay, uh, lightened crank. Okay, so here's how it did. It comes with a rack and of course, uh, a Sofix easy wheel. Okay. Then uh, that should be all. So if you guys are curious, you can head down to uh, our shop. Then you can take a look at the rear derailleur system. So almost every day, I people asking me what's the difference between zero one and P one. So I think of maybe this video can help. So. Okay. Nevertheless, right? I think if you're asking which one is better, of course, I think the later P one is actually quite, it's quite good. Yeah. Then the 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 previous one that we have right so called the more uh, entry level bike is the zero one zero one even though it's three speed entry level right i think i myself i'm also riding the zero one uh, so i think it's it's good enough for uh, singapore riding yeah then if you are talking about some of the brands like uh, 360 which we are selling um six speed all that right okay 360 six speed is a two thumb external gear so that means external is two speed. So the rear wheel hub right have an internal gear that uh, give you a variance, another variance uh, between each external gear. So in short itself right, in actual fact right, uh, the 360 is a two speed external. So versus the Exofix three speed external. So logically, if you can think, I think Exofix with a three speed external, it has one more gear lah than your 360 two speed so that is the difference ah. um, I try to there's a chart or something like that I'll try to upload it later so that you guys can understand okay so if you guys are interested about our Asofix you can head down to our stores and take a look and I'll punch in the address later below thank you bye